Hi, this is Bo. Thanks for joining me today. I just wanted to show you I got this brand new bulb planter from Garrett Wade and I have alliums. We're planting uh, purple sensation and drumstick alliums today. Um, and I don't have a lot of confidence that they're going to come up and fill in and look great because I simply don't see a lot of alliums here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, but I have to find out for myself because alliums are such a staple in the garden. Um, and I think they would be a beautiful contribution to my spring uh, poppy filled border this spring. So I'm going to give it a shot. Um, so this is kind of how this works. It's really great. I'm loving this tool right now. And um, here at Wade has got a sponsor. I'm just kind of showing you what I'm up to and what I'm trying. Um, so these get packed in pretty tight. I think the package said nine per square foot. And I'm just sort of going by feel. A lot of times with bulbs, I just plant a hole and kind of pack them in at the bottom of the hole. Um, but I'm liking this tool. It's a lot more fun than planting. So you want to put them about the rule, as you probably know, is it's like three times the height of the bulb. These are perhaps a little bit of a shallow hole, um, but I found in the past, like with the tuberose that I planted, that if I plant them too deep, they just don't seem to come up. So I'm going to err on a little shallow, and we'll just see how it goes. Also, these soils are really heavy, and they get heavier the deeper down we go. So it's like a little auger. It's like a little shaped auger. I don't know if this is meant to be stepped on or something, but I've been doing that. This is kind of loose. -ish. And then let's put it, you know, the root side down and the pointy side up. And then this you know, too much mulch got in that hole. I think we might clip this one out, Dan. That wasn't kind of like a nice plug, you know? Here, let's try this one. Okay, let's try this spot. Mm -hmm. Here. And then, guy out here. I've also noticed a little bit of mold on these, kind of like what you'd see on an onion. So I'm not sure they're gonna rot or the plant's gonna heal up and come up again. So anyway that's that and I'm planting them in kind of these little school of fish shaped groups and we'll shoot a follow-up video in the spring to let you know how it goes. Thanks so much!